um, apart, like as wide as the hips, or maybe even less. We're gonna tilt the hips in, active our belly. Allow our hands to relax on the sides of the body, close the eyes, we're softening the gaze. And slowly start to root down in the posture of Tadasana to begin our practice. We take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Deep breath in, feeling your feet on the ground, feeling your body observing what's going on today, checking your muscles. If you have any tension and with the exhalation, we just let it go. Take a full breath in, bring your hands together into the heart center. And here you can maybe set a personal intention for your practice with this vinyasa flow. What do you want to move today? What do you want to transform today? Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Good. And as we breathe in, we're going to start flowing, bringing our hands up. We can look between them. And as we breathe out, we open the arms wide on the sides, bend the knees, and fold our body forward. Beautiful. We start our flow with the Surya Namaskar as some salutation A. We're going to lengthen our spine, looking forward. We push our hands, hold the breath in there. Step forward, jump back, find your plank. And as you exhale, fall into your chatranga. Open the chest, pushing your shoulder blades together back. Inhale. And as you exhale, down or facing dog. And here you can pedal your feet, find your little movements. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in and try to push your chest down and keeping your belly active to protect your lower back. Breathe out. As you breathe in, look between the hands and with the right foot, we step forward. Left foot goes forward to exhale as you land on the top of the mat, lengthening your spine, looking forward. Exhale, fold down. Take a deep breath in, stay down. And maybe this time we're going to go vertebra by vertebra, starting slow with the practice. Breathing out, vertebra by vertebra, going up. Take a deep breath in, bring your arms up, palms together. Exhale to the heart center. Inhale, we you a bit, arms up. Exhale, fold forward in Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine, looking forward. Hold the breath, push your hands into the mat. Step with the opposite foot or jump with the opposite. Uh, from the opposite side, exhale, down. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Take a full breath in at your little movements, whatever you're needing today. If you prefer maybe stillness, that's also perfect. Exhale. Inhale, one more. Exhale. As you inhale, look between your hands with the left foot. A step forward, feet together. Exhale, inhale, lengthen your spine, looking forward. Exhale, fold your body down. And inhale, stay there. Exhale, maybe again, vertebra by vertebra. Start rolling your body up, coming into your standing position again. Take a full breath in. Bring your arms up, keeping the belly tight. Hands to the heart center. And one more time, take a full breath in. Arms up, full breath up, fold forward. And maybe this time we try to feel deeper in every asana, every posture. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Maybe this time push both hands into the mat and step or maybe even jump today. Exhale, chaturanga. Open the chest, take a full breath in. And a full breath out, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take a full breath in, stay one in there. And exhale, try to deep in into the uh, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And as you breathe in, look between your hands, maybe this time also we can try to jump forward. Exhale, as you land. And inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward down. Beautiful. Take a full breath in. Stay down. Always allow your body to micro bend the knees. Full breath out. And as you breathe in from here, we're going to go straight spine, opening the arms into the sides. All the way up, active, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart center. Take a deep breath in, arms up. We keep the flow, breathe that. Fold forward down, beautiful. Inhale, bend fingers, spine looking forward, push the hands into the mat. Step forward, jump back, and chaturanga.
Inhale, open your spine, opening the chest. And your exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Take a full breath in, stay there. And a full breath. And as you breathe in, we're gonna lower the knees as wide as the hips. Exhale in there, and as you inhale, open the chest, maybe micro walk your hands a little back to align them with the shoulders, the wrists and the shoulders, and exhaling round your spine to the other side, keeping the toes tucked. Open the chest, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, down, facing down. I mean, round your spine, I'm super sorry. Take a deep breath in, open your chest one more. Exhale, round your spine. And in the next inhale, we're going to come into a neutral position, exhaling there. And with the left foot, we're going to lengthen first our leg, the left foot, um, the left leg back. Take a deep breath, push into your hands in there. And as you breathe out and do a little circle in that ankle, take a deep breath in with your toes stuck in the, the back foot. Inhale and push your hips up. Take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, bring your left foot between your hands, lower the hips, tuck your back foot on the side, pointing your hips forward. Take a deep breath in, bring your arms up. And a deep breath out, stay there. Take a full breath, lower your hips. And a full breath out, fold forward and flow into your vinyasa. Beautiful. Open the chest, take a full breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stay there. Put out your feet, find your little movements, full breath out. And as you breathe in, lower the knees, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine, maybe micro. Walk your hands a little back to align them with the shoulders. Open the chest, inhale. Exhale, round your spine, beautiful. Inhale, coming to a neutral position. Exhale, in there. And as we inhale, right leg goes up. Exhaling, maybe up that little movement in the ankle. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And as you breathe in again, we're going to push with that left foot to bring that right leg up. Beautiful. And as you breathe out, bring that right foot between the hands, lower the hips. Tuck the back foot on the side if you can. Hips pointing forward. Take a full breath in. Come into your warrior one. Full breath out. Stay there. Make sure your hips are pointing forward. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, just fold forward, hands to the mat, and flow into your vinyasa. Beautiful. Open the chest, take a full breath. And a full breath out, downward facing dog. Relax your face, relax your jaw. We're flowing into the practice. Every time a little more, take a deep breath in. And maybe through the mouth, hold out. Inhale, look between your hands, a step forward, jump forward. Fit together, take it as deep breath in, like from that spine, looking forward. And as we breathe out, just fold forward down. Good. Take a full breath in, stay down. And a full breath out. Good. As we breathe in, lengthen your chest up with arms active on your standing position. And as you breathe out, hands to the heart center, beautiful. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, relax your arms into the sides. So from here, we're going to separate a little the ankles bring the big toes together knees together take a deep breath in tilt the hips in activating your abs find your utkatasana sitting position exhaling there relax the the face and push with your hands back take a full breath in and as we breathe that just fold forward down beautiful as we breathe in lengthen the spine looking forward with the left foot we're going to open the left foot back we're going to tuck the toes in the back foot Hips go down, press into your hands. And as we breathe in, bring that right leg up. In here, bend the right knee and bring it as you exhale under the right hip. Beautiful. This time we're gonna open as we inhale the right foot to the right side. Finding like a side plank with the knee down. Open in here, aligning your hips to the knees. Open your arm up, take a full breath in. And a full breath out, beautiful. In here, option to stay in here, or maybe bring that left leg up, take a full breath in, and with the left hand, grab that foot. And as you exhale, push with the foot to open the chest. We can look to the ground, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, beautiful. Inhale, stay there. And as you exhale with control, start releasing that foot open. Inhale. As you exhale, push with that left foot to the ground. 
and here we're gonna press into the left foot to bring that right knee up find side plank take a deep breath and as you breathe out find your left hand in the mat bring, bring your right leg up take a full breath and then as you breathe out right foot between the hands tuck the back foot on the side if you can lower the hips looking forward as you breathe in bring your body up and breathe all the way out yeah take a full breath in and in the next exhale we're gonna open our hips towards the left side finding our warrior two we look to the front hand take a deep breath in and a deep breath out lower the hips along your knees to the ankle and as you inhale point that right hand up and as you exhale bring that right hand all the way back beautiful inhale keep the flow go and find the top of the mat with both hands find your planks and chaturanga open the chest take a full breath in and a full breath up down we're facing dog take a full breath in stay there and exhale all the air out beautiful inhale one more exhale and as you inhale look between your hands step or maybe jump forward feet together exhale inhale lengthen that spine looking forward exhale fall forward down take a deep breath in stay down and a deep breath out release all the air out and as you inhale active spine go all the way up tadas and then bring your hands up exhale hands to the heart center take a deep breath and stay there and a deep breath out relax your hands on the sides and again we go open the ankles big toes together knees together tilt the hips in take a full breath in and a full breath out and pushing with your hands back take a full breath in and as we breathe out just fall forward down inhale lengthen the spine looking forward and this time we go right foot we push it up first and slowly we step wide open back we lower the hips press the palms off the hands into the ground looking forward inhale bring that left leg up beautiful and as you exhale bend that left knee and bring it under the left hip beautiful inhale open that left foot to the left we open our body up align the hips to the knees take a full breath in keeping the belly tight and a full breath out. option to stay here option to bring that right leg up take a full breath and as you exhale grab your right foot with the right hand inhale maybe try to push in there to open and just you can look down for stability take a full breath in keep that belly tight relax in the jaw take a full breath out beautiful one more inhale and as you exhale with control start opening that right foot to the side releasing that right foot and allow it to go all the way to the ground from here press into your right foot to bring that left knee up full breath in and as you breathe that bring that right hand down left leg up three like a dog and as we breathe that bring that left foot between the hands lower the hips if you can back foot on the side hips pointing forward and find your warrior one take a full breath in. and a full breath that beautiful keep it power take a full breath in and as you breathe that open to the right side of the mud looking forward to your front hand take a full breath staying there and softening your shoulders exhale inhale point that left palm up exhale bringing all the way back beautiful and find space in there inhale bring that left hand all the way to the top of the mat find your plank and chaturanga open the chest take a full breath in and a full breath out downward facing dog take a deep breath in stay in there and a deep breath out beautiful as we inhale look between the hands a step or jump forward feet together inhale lengthen your spine looking forward and as you exhale just fall forward down good take a deep breath in maybe this time we try to lengthen a little more the legs Take a deep breath out and as you inhale we're gonna lengthen the spine whether you're bending your knees or not we're gonna try with the index and the middle finger to put our big tone our big thumb so in here if we struggle a little we're gonna just bend the knees a little bit more because it's always better have the knees bend than the back hole bend so taking a deep breath and lengthen your spine look forward and pressing the in the hands into your elbows bending them to bring your body down we take a deep breath and stay 
Find a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. On the next inhale, we lengthen the spine looking forward. We're going to have a little challenge just if we can without um, releasing our big toe. We're going to start bending the knees. Excellent. Inhale. Just if we can try to open your knees on the sides of your body and find your way to a seated position. Oops. <laughs> if we fall, just left, go back again. That's totally okay. So from here, we're going to press into the shoulder blades to bring them back, open the chest, take a deep breath in. And if we can, we first are going to find that little balance spot between our coccyx and our sitting bones. Keep pressing into your shoulders down. Option one, we go and open the knees a little bit to the sides. You can stay in here. Take a deep breath in. Or maybe if we can, we can open the legs and lengthen the legs, pressing in there. Take a deep breath in. Stay there. Relax your face. If we fall, just laugh, go back again. Take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, let's see if we can. Legs together. Beautiful. Keep looking up, keep pressing into that shoulder, stand pressing to open that chest, take a full breath. And last challenge, as you breathe out, release the legs. Oh, take a deep breath in, open your arms to the sides. And as you breathe out, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. As much as you can, you can point the toes, take a full breath. And as you breathe out, knees to the chest. And we just allow the body to relax, beautiful. We're gonna balance our body to one side and to the other. Oh, take a deep breath in and maybe through the mouth. Ah, hold out. As you inhale, we're gonna support both soles of the feet on the ground. We're gonna open our arms, aligning the wrists with the shoulders. Inhale, bring the hips up. Press in there, press into your glutes. Breathe out, stay there. Inhale. And as you exhale, just lower, inhale in there. And as you exhale, just allow your knees to fall into the right side and look to the left. Relax into your hips, into your ankles, into your shoulders. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And slowly as you breathe in, bring your knees up again. And as you breathe out, just let them fall to the other side. I'm looking to the opposite side. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. And as you inhale again, we're going to bring the knees in to the chest. Exhale, bring them together. You can grab them with each hand. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. And here I invite you to pause the video and give yourself the meditation, the Shavasana you would love to have. And otherwise, you can close the practice with me. Inhaling, we're gonna bring our head between our knees. Here we're gonna give a little kiss to each knee. And slowly as we breathe out, we lean into one side of the body to slowly come back into the seated position. Beautiful. We find a comfortable seated position. We're gonna close the eyes and just observe the body, observe the mind. And observe how we feel right now after the practice. We bring our hands together into the heart center. Remember the intention we set for the practice to have it with us for the rest of the day, the rest of the week. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Namaste. I hope that you flow into the practice very easy and smoothly. 
I hope that you feel energized and feel with a nice mood and with just um, with this transformed energy. I feel that yoga and movement is medicine for our body. So I hope you enjoy it and see you for next time. Thank you so much.